Good day all and welcome back to our channel. So today in this video let's discuss about order 14 survey management in community. So surveys can be used for a range of purposes like that can go from collecting customer feedback, evaluate success of an event, measure how pleased customers are with your products or services, then whether employees are happy and satisfied with their work environment and even finding out what your market is thinking. Okay, so you can create surveys forms uh, by coming after installing surveys by open surveys. You can see this created survey forms like uh, you can see feedback form, uh, vendor certification, quiz, uh, burger quiz, recruitment form, for now, furniture creation certification. So these are in progress. Okay, so you can create new survey form just click create button and here we can conduct a quiz and here we can add section and questions that is we can divide questions as sessions sections okay so just click add section and here we can add questions Here we can select the question type whether multiple lines text box or single line text box or numerical value or date, date time, multiple choice with one answer, multiple choice with multiple answers or metrics. Okay, so let me choose multiple choice with one answer and here we can add the choices. Then you can provide, we can provide description for this question. Then you can see uh, some options. So it is possible to uh, set some constraints like we can set uh, that answer is mandatory. So an error message message will be shown uh, like this question requests an answer. So from here we can edit the error message. Then we can uh, set some display settings like display answers, number of columns, then can set images on answers, then conditional display. Then it is also possible to show comments field. So comments can be added there. And here we can add some comment message. Then it is also possible to set live sessions. That is we can set question time limit. Okay. So can add this time limit like 60 seconds and now we can save so in the same way we can add multiple questions and multiple section in part 2 then let me add a question in this section
Okay, so for this also I need current speed. Then question time limit. Okay, so I have added two questions. Then here we can provide description for the quiz. Then here we can add options. So we can set the layout of our uh, survey in the risk quiz. So we can display uh, all questions in one page or one page per section or one page per question. Then we can set progress in, uh, progression mode, um, percentage or number. So I'm setting percentage. And here we can also set survey time limit. So for this I'm setting, by default you can say 10 minutes, you can change it to 5 minutes. Then here we can uh, set selection mode, uh, whether to show all questions or to show questions as uh, randomized in a randomized manner. And uh, here we can also set scoring, that is if you don't want scoring for your uh, quiz, you can choose the first option. Or if you want scoring, you can choose second or third option. Either second or third option. That is scoring with scans, answers at end. Or scoring without answers at end. Okay, so let me choose second option. Scoring with answers at end. And we can also uh, set the success rate of this. So uh, 80% then only the person will qualify this quiz. And here we can provide certification. So certificates can be emailed using this uh, email template. Then here we can define a cer uh, certification template. Then here we can set access mode uh, of this quiz. So anyone with link can access uh, the survey form or invited people can only access this. So I'm setting anyone with link. Then it is also possible to provide login. That is. Only login person can attend the quiz. Then we can also set uh, attempts limit. Okay, so I'm setting plus two. Then here we can set live session, or we can provide reward for quick answers. Then we can uh, set session code, and we can also provide batch. So, batch can be uh, sent using email template. Okay, we can click create and edit the batch. So, here we can see the detail and here we can set a form batch level. Now we can save the survey and it's possible to start survey or we can just test the survey. So let's go, go ahead and start the survey and it is possible to share the survey with a recipient. So here we can see the survey, survey URL, recipients. So we can select recipients from here and we can see subject and body and from here we can send this survey so this can be used if you want to share a uh, feedback form that is employee appraisal form can be shared with employees using this uh, survey form okay so before testing or starting the survey here let me mark a correct answer for this question Okay, so for correct mark, I can provide an, uh, a score, so 50 marks. Okay, now let's save the survey and test the survey. Here you can see the description of the quiz, time limit, then from here we can press enter or start certification. 
Okay, so you can see the questions here, and from here you can you have to choose the correct answer. Mm, okay, and you can see these questions are mandatory. And here you can you can also provide another answer if you if that is you can add some comments here. Then if I try to submit, here you can see this question requires an answer because we have said that all questions is a mandatory. So here we have to select an answer, then submit. Okay, so here you can see you scored hundred percentage, and you have passed this passed the test. So minimum score required to pass the te test is eighty percentage. So we have scored hundred percentage, and here you can see overall performance. And here we can see you received the badge brilliant. So a badge is granted to the attendee, and we can also download certification and review answers. So when you click on option download certification, from here so we can save or uh, open certification. So to open the certification, and here you can see the certificate which is granted to employee. So the certificate is present to Michelin. When you can see that. Okay. Then it's also possible to review answers. So here we can see all questions are correctly marked by Michelin. Now we can go back to survey form. So that's how we create survey form. And here we can see our survey form. And it's also possible to schedule activity from here. Then here we have our we can view our participations. All participations. So you can see it is grouped by uh, survey. So for feedback form, uh, recruitment form, you can see uh, participations. Create a date, time, deadline of the participation, then the partner, email ID, then total number of attempts, then status of the survey, then whether uh, the person passed the quiz, then the score percentage. Uh, also can be viewed from here okay so that's all about uh, order 14 survey in community